Greetings, greetings, greetings. Gun violence has no color. So on yesterday and today we are celebrating our fourth anniversary of Operation Hunger Strike. <clears throat> and I, I just want to re reflect back on my Hunger Nine experience. I had the opportunity to go speak at a March for Our Lives rally in Parkland. Where, where this this brother here, um, he's he's the brother whom his his father was working at the school and lost his life. His father was also in the military. So when him and his mom was on the stage talking about the loss of their family member, of their breadwinner, and listening to um, our other family members in Parkland that have lost their family and their loved ones due to gun violence. And so as I was there listening to them, I began to feel the weight of their grief, along with the hundreds of people that came to the rally. And so the parking area is, 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 is much different from a Liberty City area. Uh, it seemed like the sun shines brighter um, it seems like the grass is greener. It seems like the community is better. It looks cleaner. It looks safe. Yet and still, our, our family in Parkland is feeling the effects of what we in Liberty City have been feeling for all of our lives. So for those of us that grow up in, in Liberty City, like when we hear gunfire or gunshots, we don't flinch. We look in the area where it's coming from to make sure that we are safe, but we're not afraid. We don't flinch, you know, um, to hear somebody that, that got killed in the neighborhood it's not nothing to go into a frenzy about, you know, those things happen, you know, sometimes it happens in our own family, you know? So do I want to say that I did not totally feel it? So I, I had some type of feelings about killings and gun shootings that goes on in the Liberty city area. That's had been happening all my life. Right. But I didn't have a contrast to it. I didn't have nothing to hold that hold I didn't have nothing to hold up against that. I didn't have nothing to 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 measure to measure the extent of the grief and the loss due to gun violence. And so as I heard the presenters present and speak, you know, it began to dawn on me that, hey, man, look, violence is not a normal thing. You know, it is not something that we should be desensitized to. You know, it's, it's not something that we should detach ourselves from. 
And the more those people came up to talk about the loved ones that, that they lost, you know, I started flashing back on the many people that I lost in my community. Some people I seen get killed. And, and, and I start visualizing these things when I was young, robberies and violent robberies. We've been robbed violently before by gunpoint. And, and, and some of us could have lost our lives, you know, but, you know, after that, we just wait till the next person come rob us. So we, we not, you know. Being robbed is not a big thing in our neighborhood. Being somebody being shot and killed, it wasn't a big thing in our neighborhood. So I thought. But man, when I when my when my brother came off the stage, and I have to I have to keep I have to keep showing his picture. When I like I was I was like I was I was in tears. You know I was really uh, you know I I almost you I almost couldn't I almost couldn't stand up. And I and I and I wept all the way through um, each presenter as they presented and talked about the person and the lives that had been lost in Parkland that day, some some five years ago. And like I say, when I heard them speaking, I flashes of, of of people that I seen get killed and get stabbed and get shot and get robbed. All those things start coming in my head, and then I started having compassion. For my for my own uh, uh, um, upbringing, my own experiences, and I'm like, wow! I'm like, you know, I couldn't even I couldn't even believe that that my extent of grief of what I see, and some of my family members got killed due to gun violence, and and I and I couldn't wrap my 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 mind around the fact that. Um, killing uh, is norm was it was a normal in my mind. Um, going to funerals was a norm in my mind. Uh, seeing people who I know get shot and killed, you know, it it it, it, it I had got so used to it till it didn't bother me no more. You know, but it it was that Parkland visit that 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 woke up uh, um the empathy inside of me. So no, no gun violence anywhere is a is a problem everywhere, and and gun violence it don't it don't care nothing about your race, it don't care nothing about your religion, it don't care nothing about your belief system. Gun violence affects everybody, and everywhere, and wherever there's a gun violence anywhere is a call to action everywhere. So I, I thank God for the hunger nine. I thank God for um, moms demand justice. Um, I thank God for March for Our Lives. Uh, I thank God for mothers of murdered children. And, 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 and wherever our people are suffering all over the world from gun violence, you know, uh, we stand with you here in Miami. We understand, like your brother. We we definitely understand. We definitely support you, and we asking God for His prayers, um, and and asking us that we keep on working to to end gun violence. Um, once again, I thank God for the hunger nine. I thank God for us the celebration that we had on yesterday. I thank God for this fourth anniversary of Operation Hunger Strike. And, and we're just going to keep on working and doing what we have to do in our community. So we thank y'all for listening to this Sunny Day 305 Degrees podcast. Uh, share this message. Share it with your friends. Share it on your platform. You know, um, hit the subscribe button and get your friends to hit the subscribe button. And hit the button to alert you anytime a new video is available. And if you have any children that need mentoring, you know, that's maybe, you know, you believe that's spiraling out of control and need a mentor in their life, you know, I'm available for mentorship. Just leave your um, contact in the uh, in the chat below and I'll contact you and we could do some children mentoring and things that we could do to uh, stop gun violence in our community. Hey, this sunny day is 305 degrees. Live your best and your blessed life. Peace.